hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square method so the very first thing we want to make sure the leading coefficient must be 1 in our if you look at it over here the leading coefficient is not 1 over here you see that it's dividing by 6. So how I we can make it 1 by just simply multiplying by 6. So I'm going to multiply this first term by 6. If I multiply by 6 over here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply by 6 across the board. Okay. So once we do that one over here simply what happens is this 6 and 6 is gone. So this 3 goes into 6 twice, 2 times 2 is make 4, and 2 goes into 6 3 times, 3 times 5 is 15, and this thing. So our simplified equation, quadratic equation, turns out to be x squared minus 4x minus 15 equal to 0. And obviously you can see the leading coefficient is 1. Now, the next step I want to make sure I want you to go ahead and move this negative 15 on the right hand side. We must have only x variables on the left hand side. So that means so this x square minus 4x is going to be on the left hand side equals to once you move this negative 15 on the other side becomes positive 15. So far so good. Now the next step is I want you to look at this one over here. Just look at the coefficient of x which is don't worry about this negative sign. We are just instead interested in this number so which is 4. Just put down 4. The next step is I want you to divide it always by 2 so 4 divided by 2 is going to give you 2 and at the end we're going to whatever you got just square it. So this is the number we got. Now we're going to go ahead and whatever this thing we got we're going to add it on both sides. So this is what our next step is. So I'm going to go ahead and put down x square minus 4 x plus and over here 15 plus and this is the number that I'm going to put it on both sides. So I'm going to say 2 square and I'm going to put down 2 square. So far so good. So the next step we want to do is I want you to look at this left hand this over here this box over here this represents a complete square what is the complete square over here you just put down this is going to be x and 2 square now you might be wondering where this things came from so this x just moved over here this 2 this moved right up here and whatever this sign is this just showed up over here and equals to 15 plus 4 so x minus 2 square turns out to be 19 we want to solve for x so i want you to take the square root because we want to get rid of this square we're going to take the square root on both sides. So this square and square root they undo each other. So we simply got x minus 2 equal to plus or minus square root of 19. Now I want you to just simply add 2 on both sides. So this is gone. So we simply x equal to we got x equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 19 
So far, so good. So now we're going to split them up along these positive and negative signs. So the first solution is going to be x equal to 2 plus square root of 19. And the other one is going to be x equal to 2 minus square root of 19. Thus, our solution set turns out to be 2 plus square root of 19 and 2 minus square root of 19. But if you are interested in your solution in terms of decimal, then we can do that one. And you can use a calculator to figure out the square root of 19 is approximately equal to 4.36. And if we plug it in, our solution set in terms of decimal is going to be and this is our answer one of the solution is 6.36 approximately equal to the other solution is approximately equal to negative 2.36 thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos